Hi, I'm John Miller, CEO of the American Red Cross on Long Island, and we're here today at the United Way in Deer Park working with the United Way and our grantees uh, in Hurricane Sandy relief. And we're very proud to partner with the United Way. We have a long-standing relationship between the two organizations, and we're here today with uh, their leader, Teresa Regnante. Teresa, maybe tell us a little bit about what's going to happen with the dollars. Well, we've been awarded th uh, about $350,000 today, and there are six grantees that are going to be accepting uh, those contributions from your donors all around the country. So first, certainly grateful to the Red Cross and the work that's been done for Hurricane Sandy and the relief effort. Um, I, I think that it's a true testament of our partnership in that, you know, we're going to have organizations reaching out to veterans, organizations that are reaching out to people who are older, still having a tough time getting back into their home, rents that have to be paid. Um, the Lutheran Services Organization is going to be doing two volunteer builds a month for the next year. We're going to be helping with construction case management on those builds. Uh, we have a mental health provider who is still on the front lines of dealing with a lot of trauma, a lot of uh, long-term trauma, post-traumatic stress situations that have come about. And just a, really a countless uh, effort on behalf of the thousands and thousands of people. I mean, you know, 58,000 homes affected, a lot of people still not in their homes. And I, and I think for, for the Long Islanders that are in their home, this is a story that says, hey, listen, you know, we are two Long Islands. We've got a lot of people on the South Shore still struggling. It's great to have the Red Cross still on the front lines um, helping people with their long-term recovery. Great, and thank you. And on behalf of the American Red Cross and on behalf of the United Way, I'd like to thank our donors and the generosity of the American public for making these partnerships possible.